Hey, how's it going? And today we're taking a look at the modal dialog variant. And what this does is it allows us to create a custom button with custom functions without any verse code. I've been through this a few times and I wasn't able to get it to work initially, but then done some things and now I've got it working. So I thought it'd be helpful to share this with others. To start, just make sure you're on the project content folder here. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to create a user interface widget blueprint and we're going to pick the modal dialog variant and i'm just going to call this button one just so i know what it is and then we're just going to double click into it and dock it up here i've noticed that once you bring a button in here that it'll shift into a new category i've had issues with dragging the button onto canvas panels and stuff so what i'm doing is i'm drawing on what i know about the common ui and i know the common ui uses overlays so i'm just going to drag this into an overlay here like that Let's see what our size option is i'll do 1920 by 1080 and then what i'll do is i'm just going to drag a loud button here and drag it up there and it's going to dock itself up here and then we can reposition it here within the overlay. I think we can center it and let's see here and here, put it right. We'll just put it right in the middle there. And I think we're good. I think we're good with that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and compile and save that. And then here on the text, I'm just going to write in explode because that's what this button is going to do. We'll go ahead and click selectable and interactable when selected. Compile again. Now we're going to step out of here. We're going to come down to our devices folder and we're going to search for a pop up dialog box here. We're going to drag this onto the scene like that. We're just going to change two things on here. On auto display, we're going to switch this to game start and then we're going to come down here to template override class and we're going to pick the button class widget blueprint we just created. Okay, and that's all we're gonna do there. And then just for fun, we're gonna search for an explosive device. And we're gonna drag this over here on the scene. And we'll kind of turn our player spawner toward it because what'll happen is our screen will lock up once the button displays. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that spawner there. And then that's all we got to do, except for on this explosive device, we're going to set it to explode on our pop-up device. So we'll go to pop-up device. We'll come here to on responding button one and we'll save that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into our user widget here and what we're going to do, sometimes it'll say that there is no MVVM available and you have to create one it's already set up so all we're going to do is go add widget here and it's already set to the button which is fine then we got to change the direction here and we want this to go from one way to the view model then what we're going to do is select this and we're going to go to a conversion function under creative under modal Click there, and we want get response on button one. Now, this will change to none, but we're going to go ahead and select the button again here. And then what we're going to do is click here, click there, click there. We're trying to get to the button here, here, and we want on clicked, click event here is what we want. And we'll select that. And this is creating a chain of events, right? And then over here, we're gonna click there. We're gonna click on our creative modal dialog here, and we're gonna click the response, and that's going to trigger our response. So that's our chain of logic there. Now I'm just gonna go compile and save, go to my project here, and Believe it or not, we're done. So hopefully I'll press launch session and we won't get any errors. So let's see what happens. I have gotten errors in the past, so it's good to see I'm not getting any errors. So what I'll do is I'll come back just as soon as I've, it's finished 
doing its thing. Okay, it looks like we're back and let's see if this works. If it does, we should see the button in the center of the screen and when I press it, we should see the explosion. So let's see if that's what happens. There's my button right in the center. Explode. There we go. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a